Hey, what's happening guys? Chris here, and well today I'm going to be blasting people away at close range and checking out that Model 10A shotgun for the assault class in Battlefield 1. The Model 10A was manufactured by the American arms company Remington. Not the same guys who made the shaver that you use to trim your beard, but in fact America's oldest gun maker, being founded in 1816. So yeah, about 200 years ago. The Model 10 12 gauge pump action shotgun was designed by John Pedersen, and was first produced in 1908. Although the M97 trench gun was the main shotgun issued to US troops in 1917 during the Great War, Remington also made 3500 Model 10 A's to be issued too. These were militarised, more compact versions of their Model 10 counterparts, which had a few slight alterations to the original design, such as a shorter 23 inch barrel length, wooden heat shield over the barrel to protect the user's hand, and adaptations for fitting shoulder straps and bayonets, which would have helped out a lot in its intended World War 1 environment. This line of weaponry was designed to be better suited for trench combat, and the devastating power of a shotgun blast proved to be an effective way of flushing out enemy forces stationed in defensive positions, and clearing out confined trenches with lethal force. It wasn't exactly the most popular and widely used shotgun that was around during the First World War, though it was still a commercial success and a very effective design nevertheless. In Battlefield 1, that Model 10A is one of the three shotguns from the base game that you'll be able to wield whilst using an assault loadout. There's three variants which all play out differently to each other, so I'm going to explain these in a bit more detail later on in the video. Right now though, it's statistics time, where I'll run over the gun's general bits of useful information. Now, unlike most of the other weapons that use bullets, the shotguns instead use shotgun shells, just like you'd expect, meaning the damage is dealt from the many pellets that fly out of each shell and make contact. The Model 10A fires the most pellets per shell of all of the shotguns, apart from the M97 sweeper variant, which fires one more. A total of 20 pellets are fired per shell, with each pellet dealing a maximum damage of 8.4 up to 15 meters, and a minimum of 4.2 beyond 22 meters. So if you do the math, you'll only need 12 of those pellets to actually hit your target at closer ranges to put them out of action, which kind of makes the gun overkill in CQC. It deals a similar amount of damage per pellet as the other shotguns, but because you're blasting out more of them per shell, this will provide you with increased stopping power, to ensure that your target is going to go down. At longer ranges, it'll take 24 pellets, so probably quite a few pulls of the trigger, and because each shot is going to spread out more so over distance, this restricts the shotgun's effective range to those close quarter engagements. The Model 10A has about the same amount of pellet dispersion than the M97, Though it does have a higher vertical kit than the others, with a value of 11, along with a leftwards value of 0.8 and a rightwards jolt of 1.2, which is quite a bit. And we can see by this that each shot is going to bounce the gun upwards and to the right. Along with a high amount of kick, the Model 10's also got the slowest rate of fire, with a speed of just 78 RPM. Because it fires slower than both the other shotguns, this means that there might be a teeny bit more pressure to ensure each shot is going to land on target. As if you miss, there's going to be a bigger window of vulnerability, giving your enemy more opportunity to gun you down, especially if they're using a rapid firing weapon. The Model 10A can load up to 6 shells at a time, which is one more than the others. It's probably not going to make a drastic difference, but that extra bonus shell might be the difference between surviving against a group of enemies, or getting slaughtered instead by that last guy. Generally when using the gun, my advice would be to stick to those closer distances, flank enemy positions whenever you can, and mow down your victims as soon as they enter the gun's optimal range. One useful tip would be to equip the bayonet, to not just stab people with, but also reach your opponents and cover ground quicker, closing the gap to where that gun's going to be most effective. But anyway, let's run over those different weapon variants. The first one being the Model 10A Factory which lets you recover from recoil and gain accuracy after every shot a lot faster. It'll recover 50% quicker from recoil than the Hunter, resetting the gun back to its original position in less time, ready for you to fire away again. Plus it's also got a huge buff to its hip fire spread decrease, allowing the gun to recover 300% faster from spread whilst hip firing. Because this version recovers from recoil quicker, it'll allow you to get your next shot on target easier, which is going to be useful for whenever you miss your opponent or need to get another shot on them to put them down or whenever there's a bunch of enemies together that all need killing quickly one after the other. As for the Hunter variant, this one's just got a tighter pellet cone, being 20% narrower than the factory. This will not only allow more pellets to land on the target that you're aiming at, but it'll also give you a bit more range. It's not going to increase the damage of the pellets, but instead allow more of those pellets to actually make contact at slightly further distances. 
A few pulls of the trigger will still usually be needed to take someone down beyond close range, though less shots might be required as you'll be inflicted more damage over distance, down to more pellets making contact, with that tighter cone spread. And lastly, the most unique one of them all is the slug variant, which completely alters the dynamics of the gun, turning it into a completely different beast. Instead of firing 20 pellets per shell which disperse over distance, you'll be shooting out slugs, which are singular projectiles. These slugs deal 100 damage up to 10 meters, though damage will drop down to just 43 at 60 meters. So think of the slug variant like a close range sniper rifle. It can kill in just one shot in CQC, though it'll usually take 2 to 3 to kill at longer ranges. You'll also have to be a bit more accurate than you would with the other variants, and line up your shot properly for that slug to land on the other player. It does have a slightly faster muzzle velocity, and with higher damage at range, this makes it more effective at longer distances, along with being powerful up close too, though you will have to be on target perfectly for any of your shots to count. So overall, the Model 10A pump action shotgun is a super powerful tool of destruction, being able to wipe out anyone who strays too close with tremendous results. It's got the most pellets per shell of all the shotguns, allowing for more bang. And with an extra shell to see you through battle, the Model 10A is a truly deadly gun to have at your disposal. Though with a high amount of kick and the slowest fire rate of all the shotguns, you won't be able to follow up any missed shots quite as quickly. But so long as you stick to close quarters and aim in all the right places, you'll be able to punish your victims and leave them no room to escape. Well that's pretty much it for this one, thanks for watching, give me a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for loads more. Have fun on the battlefield and I'll see you in the next one.